So welcome back everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to do a full strip and clean and replace a sump on an ideal logic boiler. Now these are very common in the UK where I am in the Midlands there are tons of these boilers they get put into new builds so knowing how to do the full strip and clean and replace sump which is a very common repair should help you out. Hopefully there's some hints and tips in there along the way. Now I really appreciate your support but I do need your help. Now 70% of the people who watch my videos don't subscribe really help me out as a content creator if you click that subscribe button it really does help us out any questions on the video drop them in the comments i'll do my best to answer them make sure you like the video yeah let's take a look at this ideal logic all right so we've got this ideal logic if you remember this one we come out to it on a breakdown it's block on site trap we're back now to do full stream clean and blow sump so let's get that off i'm just going to take the few spur out one did, but there we go that's the fuse out. And to get the case off, it's just there. Two clips. Just like that. There we go. So that just pushes down. That comes out. Yeah, you can see the sump's gone all around here. So we're going to get that replaced. First thing we do is take it all apart and uh, give it a full stream clean. So I'll sump cover off, and that should just lift forward. And that's it. Uh, next up, let's get the gas off because we want to get that gas valve out of the way. Because we're doing the sump. <sighs> that is so tight. Let's get the screws off back in there. So I'll disconnect the bottom nut and loosen that nut. Took the electro off, so then just pull out undone this nut just here. And that gas valve. And just slide out. This is the uh, gas valve out of the way. So we want to get this plate out of the way. Let's give it more room when you're doing the sump. So there's two screws, one there, one there. Get that out. Electrical connection there. Spark generation connection there. And that one's back. And of course, the air cable, which is going to be box solid. I'll have to get a bit in there. But yeah, you can see that. Once I've got that off, that'll just come out. For the fan, I just undo, loosen. That screw there. Two electrical connections. Off. Off. Up. Out. There we go. That's the fan out. To get the main burner out, there's a screw there in the front. Another one you can see to the right. Get them out. There's two bolts at the back. I have undone them. Um, 8 mil spanner with a ratchet. Really good for getting them out. Just get this one out of the back here. And there is a Mac. To get these burners out, what you want to do is lift it, put it on its head like that, turn to side like that, and that will just put it open. And the same way when going back, that don't look too bad. We'll check the plate in there as well. Let's, let's take a look at what we got. So yeah, I'm going to change the ignition. We're going to give that a full wash out, so um, we're going to put the sump cover back on there. Just so when we put the water down here, it doesn't overflow here. Oh, here's a better look at the state it's in the moment, so yeah. That has not been done for a long, long time. So let's give that a really good clean out. So I've just gone to get the car chair. guess what, lift it on. Put it on charge last night because I knew I had this job. Lift it on, and it's miles away, so you have to do it on school. So the electrodes, three millimeter Allen key. I'm just gonna take them out. So it's just two screws, one there, one there, undo them, and that will come out. The screws out on that, it'll just pull out. There we go. And then we get that replaced. Jug in a bucket. Have to wash it through. Let's see it'll start coming out of there now. That's why I put the sun cover back on. Few drops of water down there. I'll look more through, but yeah, if you haven't got one of them pressure washers, you can just use a jug. But I'm absolutely gutted I forgot that. Absolutely gutted. Never mind, it's still cleaned and um, brushed through. 
So what we're going to do now is get the old sump out. Let's get the trap out of the way first. So I'll pull the hose off, twist, and I'll pull it in again. Flathead, snap these off, undo these two screws here. Not all the way out, just loosen them, just to give you a bit of pull on the exchanger. But yeah, you've got to give these some brute force, don't be scared of them. So, them two slightly undone. I'm going to get in there now and just snap these up. damage it but it's going it anyway. There we go. That is the bottom of the heat exchanger. Oh, look at too bad. Yeah, it's not too bad. So that looks pretty bare now don't we? There's hardly anything in there. Took everything out. The Dartek one stuck these there. I do like the logic to work on. Very, very easy once you get the knack of them. So let's get the new sump. There is a new sump. Uh, there is two different types of these. Make sure you get the right one. This is for a combi. All I've done is put some silicon grease on there. Round the edge of there, and we're going to try and do now is feed it that gas box and went over. Let me switch on. Feed it round the back there. And we're going to try and push on. I'll push on the back first. So you need to get in, push up. You need two hands for it though. So you want it like angle the back and push up, and it will click. It can be a bit of a struggle, but yeah, you just want to hear a click when you push it in. Alright, so I did manage to click the back in then. The front, you'll leave it snap on. There you go, that one will stay on, but there we go. So yeah, that's all clipped in. You can run your fingers around the back. You can feel whether it's gone on or not. That means done. That's new something. Nice and, once you get into the habit of doing them, they're nice and easy. Console trap, it's nice and clean. Let's get you back in. What am I doing? Come on. So it'll just go over there, push in, and you leave it twist, and that's locked in. Then you try to get your arse back on. Where's the arse? There you go, we found him, he's in my bucket. So tap it goes onto there, twist around, in, done. Uh, let's get the burner back in now. New gasket on the burner, you just peel that off, put new one on. Only goes on one way, then you want to put it in like that. You see the old bits deep there. So you can angle it down. There we go. That is in. Just got to line it up with the back bolts, get the screws on. So I've just got all the screws back in there. That's so two at the front, two bolts at the back. So an 8mm ratchet is a must for these boilers. The electrode, which can replace that, just got the old. Um, seal off, just going to pop that in, there we go, and it's going to be new screws, and so that them are 3mm, so you need 3mm allen key to get them in, not a very good angle, bloody wires getting in the way, you really my YouTube fan wire, oh, uh, so yeah, screw there, and we'll get you for it. These way around keys have been great to be fair. They fit in really nice. And I've actually I haven't lost one yet. Right, that's done. Let's get this plate back on. So that should hook behind there. You can see where the two screws go. Just there. But interesting fact that earth lead has to be changed because they've changed the design of the electrode. I didn't throw it. See the difference? The earth lead on that one's at the bottom, the old one, and the new one's at the top. So that earth lead is too short, so you have to replace the earth lead. It comes with a pack glass, so I'm going to have to take that screw out. So it will reach up there. there we go. I've just got the two screws back in there. Electrics back on. That leads back on. 
let's put the fan back in. So if you look on the fan, there's two lugs just there. Then we've got a hook in to there. All I'm going to do is put it, put it in. Just a hook on the top. You'll know when you've got it in because that's why I'll be able to pull it out. Once you know you've got it in, you can tighten that screw back up just there. It's a flat head so There we go. Now I used to take that screw all the way out until I went up to see Alan Art and he said, no. Nope. That's that screwdriver. I said, no, nope, just undo it. So you only have to undo that. So electrical connection is back on. Then we're going to find that screwdriver and get the gas valve back on. New seal up here. New seal there. All comes with a pack. So I'll just replace them seals. Gas valve facing that way and it should. Well, that one should. There you go. You just tighten that button knot up first. Just to hold it in place. And then I've just got all the way down the back of it. There you go. Then he will connect on there. Just like that. And then that knot there. And to there. So okay, just leave that disconnected. Tighten them off. I'm gonna take this injector out and clean them. Under the two screws, inside the injector. There you go. I'm gonna set that out. Give that a really good clean as well. Let's give the injector a good clean. Let me get that back in there. Just get them two screws back in. Screws back in. Tighten that on. There we go. That's better. And I'm just gonna tighten that nut, that nut, and then I'll tighten him for forget. Tighten up the screws on the heat exchanger that we're releasing down here. That's the bottom one. And the top. That's near enough done now. Just while I get the toy back in, just toy it. Just push it onto that seal there. Up. Make sure that. Just get off of that lip. I'm going to need two hands now because it can be a bit tight. Hold on. There you go. So it just goes in there. Push it back and pull it down. And it will seal it. There we go. That's that back in. Get the new sun cover on. There we go. And that's it all back together. Let's give it a test. Actually, before we test it, let's do the expansion vessel and clean the filter. So let's get this magnet out. TF1 and probably start leaking because the leak as soon as you look at them then we can open that now bit of a tip washing machine holes straight into a bucket fits onto them perfect so let's open this up that cap should fit over there you can twist it oh yeah that made it clean so I'm just going to let that drain off Get the pressure out of the board there, you can see. Yeah, the expansion's flat. Let's give that a pump up to there we go, it's just above one. Pressure on zero. So yeah, let's get that off now. And close that off. Close that. Let me get that off. Magnet back in, dry pocket magnet, and the cap back on. Now you got this filter cleaned, expansion vessel serviced. Put some LDF on that, make sure you don't bubble. There's a bit of LDF on there. If you get any bubbles on that, you've got to replace the Schrader valve on there. It's not a new expansion, just a Schrader valve. All it needs to do, but yeah, that looks good. Let's put that cap back on, just the LDF there as well. The LDF's frozen. It's not cold at the moment. Yeah, I think it's frozen. Yeah, let's make sure that all that's sealed up. Looking good. All right, let's get some pressure back in and give this one a test. Pressure on the logic is normally underneath here. Yeah, just turn them two knobs and it'll get the pressure up. Let's get that to about one and a half. Let's do it. 
So yeah, just gonna do uh, 26.9 checks on this and that is done. What I'll do is run the analyzer around the back of the sump, around here, just to make sure it is all sealed up and just around the burner. Just check the burn seal as well and flip that analyzer up from there. Right, let me show you to get this in so smart so that on max, that's there. Uh, create heating demand for max onto that. I should be on service mode. It's an absolute fact. This is that. There we go. It's twice. So yeah, it's a, it's a bit of a fact. So that'll take point into minimum and get to maximum. Do that again. Make sure you go into that. It should be the maximum. There you go. And that's service mode on ideal logic. All right, so we just got into service mode now. Uh, we've got a minimum output, and it tells you how to move the sending knob to end. So that's just on minimum. Let's check that. Looking good. I'm very on maximum. So. Yeah. Full triple clean, sum replacement, all done on the ideology combi. Don't forget your stickers. If you have a problem, guess who's on the phone? They're gonna phone you back. So yeah, that'll give you repeat business. So I'll say to sell the house. Next owner, the noise call. Hopefully that has helped you out on the ideal logic. As I said with the sump, do not be scared of it. Just get in there, break it out, and the new one you want to make sure it clicks all the way. So you bring your gas analyzer around, you can make sure that it's all on, but you can actually feel it with your fingers at the back. Now I am a bit disappointed that I couldn't show you the car trap mini pressure watcher. I have done a review video, I will link it if you want to see it, because it is an amazing bit of kit, really is. I'm sure I'll get it on a video sooner rather than later of it in action, but video should be linked up there. Now if you're regular to the channel, you'll know this is something a bit, little, little bit new for me. Um, I am looking going forward doing a day in life on a Monday and a training Thursday. So it'll be more types of this video showing you more in depth how to do stuff. So if you like the content, let me know. I will keep doing it. I'll keep it coming back with a training Thursday, but we'll see how we get on for this week. As always, thank you very much for your support. I really, really appreciate it. I am looking to do a 10K giveaway, but we've got to come close first. So as I said, if you haven't hit subscribe, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I really want to do your 10K giveaway. Catch you on the next one.